everybody. I know I'm early. Hi, Susan. Um, I am super early today, but I have an appointment. Um, and I just have to be honest with you. I have an appointment to go get a pedicure, but I have not had one in five weeks. So I feel like that's important. So <laughs> hi, Shawnee. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to go do that. Um, and that's at six o'clock. So I had to do this first. Um, cause I want to hang out with my peeps. So, um, I have some exciting news about, um, kits. So we're going to make, um, the no matter the weather card kit, which is one of the absolute cutest kits that we have. So I'm going to open this up and show you just how it's from beginning to end, how this, how this goes. Hi, Pam. How are you? So this kit is $19. And it is available on the website. But let me tell you how this works. Okay, so the kits are not in the catalog. They are only online. So um, at any given time, the kits that are available may change. However, this one is available right this minute. Don't order it. And here's why. Starting June 1st, day is that Tuesday? The kits are going to be buy one, get one half off. Is that not an awesome deal? Buy one, get one half off. Okay, so let me tell you. I'm trying to open this up. I'm trying to I'm trying to do two things at once. I'm trying to talk and open things. So let me show you these stamps. How cute they are. So the buy one, get one half off deal. So it says let love grow. You are capable of amazing things. No matter the weather, we're in this together. Wishing you brighter days ahead. And then there's clouds that go with this stuff. And there is a little flower and a heart. So, um, the buy one, get one half off. So when you go to anywhere and get a buy one, get one, it's the lowest price is the half off. Am I right? I know I'm right. Because that's just the way businesses work. They want to make their money too. So guess what Stampin' Up's doing? The most expensive kit that you're going to buy is half off. So as a customer, when you put two kits in your cart, it will automatically make the most expensive kit half off. Is that not, woohoo, they said we want to give the customer the benefit of the doubt or the benefit of the um, sale, so we want to do that for them. So that is great. If you are a demonstrator, there is this much more that you need to do, just a little, in order to get, you still get the, you still get the same deal, you still get the most expensive one for half off. However, it's a different computer system. It's a little more painful for demonstrators, but for demonstrators, all you'll have to do is put the least expensive one in first. The more expensive one that you want half off, put it in second. So cheap kit, expensive kit. Cheap kit, expensive kit. Cheap kit, expensive kit. So that way you'll get them um, the most expensive ones half off. So that's the way we'll have to do it. And so that's the way we'll do it starting June 1st. I have my pictures here. So I know what these cards are supposed to look like. Um, so yeah, that's how, that's how we have to do this. Oh, so these are all blank. And then we have card fronts, I think. Are they all blank? They all appear to be blank. So that's okay. So we'll have all of our card fronts. We'll fold all of these. Apparently, apparently there's... Apparently there's card fronts in here. We'll get to them in just a moment. Hi, Phyllis. I'm so glad you caught me. So, um, did I show you all of the cards that we ended up making last week? I think I was still going to work on them. So after I did the watercolor backgrounds, so there's these two. There's that one. Was This one was the one I showed you. I finished that one. You are beyond incredible. That one and that one. Those are my watercolor cards that 
I finished last week after watercoloring with y'all. So that was fun. I like watercoloring. And no two cards ever come out the same, even if you try. Even if you try to make them the same, they're not they're not coming out the same. That's just that's just how it is. It's always unique. Now Patty Bennett did give me a tip and she said that her dad taught her. Um and you know Patty Bennett, she's a pro. Um, her dad taught her to wet the back of the watercolor paper first before you um, start and then flip it over and wet the front. And so that he said it works better. So there you go. We'll try that next time. Okay. So we're going to put these cute little boots. Oh, it's all one piece. Ha ha ha. That makes it easier. I thought I was going to have to put five different pairs of boots on here. But no. But no. Okay, so we look, we even have dimensionals. We have a whole sheet of dimensionals. I just love these kits. They're so fun. And if you need a few cards real quick, then you know you're good. Now I don't know if you remember this car this kit is a revamped paper pumpkin kit. But it was one of the very most Popular. Hang on. I'm not quite ready yet. I think I'm supposed to stamp. I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the example. Okay, so there's an ink spot here for base. I'm not going to use it. It's just, you can. It's perfectly okay. But I already have an ink pad, so I'm just going to use my ink pad. So on the example, it shows... I'm going to use this as my work surface, I think. It's kind of bowed. So we'll see what happens. Um, okay, so we're just going to stamp some texture down here. And it looks to me like this is the way they did it. Stamp it twice. So you have a darker one and a lighter one. That's called stamping off, if you don't know. I might have some new people watching. So that's called stamping off. So you'll have the darker one and then the lighter one. You stamp it twice without re-inking it. So where did those little boots go? They're upside down. So here's my boots. We're going to add the boots. Oh, there's little pieces in here. Let's get these little pieces popped out. So stinking cute. Look at these little boots. Okay, so these little boots, I think the green boots go right over her green boots. Okay? That's the way we're going to do it. And we're going to stack up all the rest of the boots. And then we're going to stamp on this piece right here and stamp something about amazing things. Let's see if we can read it better. I'm going to use another block, too, because that one's in use. You are capable. You are capable of amazing things. You are capable of amazing things. I think I might stamp that in black next time. We're going to put it right here. And no, I am not going to use these fiddly little glue dots. I'm going to use liquid glue because I don't like those fiddly little glue dots. I think I'm going to use this glue. I didn't get it quite closed the other day. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit, um, clogged. It's not anything we can't fix though. We have the technology. We can fix it. It's not really technology. It's a pokey. It's a pokey tool. <laughs> it's a pokey tool. Okay. There we go. Now we have, now we're cooking with grease. Okay. So you are capable of amazing things. Goes right there. And then we will put a bow. So we didn't do this right. Okay, I'm going to tie a bow and stick it on there. 
Mm, maybe not. Maybe I'll skip that one. And then I'll show you the way we're supposed to be doing this because I'm not, I didn't do it right. Not that it matters. It's my card. I can do whatever I want. Correct? Nobody's ever going to see the Stampin' Up! card at the same time. I'm going to put some raindrops on here. These little guys look like raindrops. So they're going on my card. We've had lots of rain here. These are appropriate. We have had a ton of rain in middle Georgia in the last week. A ton. Oh, I started the claims process to get a new roof. That ought to be fun. We'll see. So there's the first card. Now let me show you the way Stampin' Up! has said that we're supposed to do this. You know, there's no there's no Stampin' Up! police. Nobody's coming to your house to tell you you did it wrong. I promise. But we'll do it. We'll do it the right we'll do it the right way. We'll do it the way the instructions say. The instructions say Stampin' Up, please. The instructions say to put this around your card. And also the instructions don't have words. It's just pictures. So sometimes it's you know, you would think the pictures are worth a thousand words. Sometimes not so much. So now I'm just gonna tie this right over here. And when I tie with twine, I like to tie it in a knot first before I attempt to tie the bow because that way I know it's not going anywhere. That's a Sandra thing. You can do it however you'd like. And I promise you it will still be beautiful. So there's that. Now let me get another thing of these boots. And then we'll stamp our sentiment and then we'll do a different card so we can show you how all of them go together. So next week, when you go to buy this kit half off, half off, well, you have to buy two, remember? So you can buy one for $12 because some of the kits are $12. Some of them are $25. So if you buy a $12 kit, then you can get the $25 kit half price. Woohoo! And so, you know what else, right? Like, if you're a demonstrator, if you're on my team, or if you're on somebody else's team, you still get your discount on top of that. So, what could possibly be better? What could possibly be better? Okay, I'm going to stamp in a different color. Because that gray was a little light. So, let's see. What color? What color? What color? What color? What color? It's on this blue. So I think I'm going to stamp in Knight of Navy. I think that's what color her pants are. So we're going to stamp in Knight of Navy. Oh yeah. Much more readable. Much more readable. The kit sale starts on the 1st. Of June. It goes through the whole month of June, Phyllis. So and remember, you can find all of the kits that are available at any given moment on the website. That's the only place to find them, which ones are available. So you can order them through the demonstrator site, but you have to find out which ones are available on the customer-facing site. Okay. So there, there it is, the way Stampin' Up! says you're supposed to do it. Okay, so what's the next card? So we have... Oh, I didn't stamp the bottom. I, I lied. That's not quite the way Stampin' Up! said to do it, because I didn't stamp the bottom. They're all going to be different. Okay, so then I have the clouds one. And we're going to stamp some more clouds, apparently. I'm looking at the example here. Gonna stamp some dark clouds up here. And you can stamp them off the edge. It's totally okay. OK. 
Okay. And then I'm going to um, get these little boots. Oh, look at how cute these are. These little boots and these little flowers are what go on this card. And then there's a circle. 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 Here it is. And we are supposed to stamp no matter the weather we'll get through this together or something along those lines. I'm going to stamp it in green. I'm going to stamp it in garden green. Feeling froggy. See, because I have access to all my inks and stuff. Now, if you don't have the, if you don't have that, you can do it just exactly the way the kit says to do it. It's fine. I have a little more, um, um, I have access to a little more, a few more things. So, so we, we're supposed to tie a bow around these little, um, I doubled it up and I'm going to tie one bow. Um, um, so what's going on? So Stampin' Up! still has the um, starter kit special until the end of the month. It is an amazing, amazing special. Um, you get 60 some odd dollars in free product, extra free product when you join now. So if you'd like to join my team or know more about that, let me know. Love to have you on my team. And um, what else? Oh, as demonstrators, we get to see the brand new holiday. They call it the July to December mini catalog. It's not the holiday catalog anymore, but that's what it is. And ooh, there's some fun stuff I can't show you. But trust me, there's some fun stuff in there. I'm going to do an event here in town in Warner Robins, Georgia. If you're anywhere near me, I'd love for you to join me. It's going to be in July. I don't remember what date. I'm horrible. I'm horrible. I don't remember what date it is. It's on a Saturday. Um, at Sunny's Barbecue. We get together. We make cards. We laugh. We talk. We have a, we have a great time. How does this go? It's kind of like that. Okay, so I need some more dimensionals here. And, um, yeah, if you want to know more about that, I put all the details on my, on my site there on Facebook. You can look, look it up. Join us. I'd love to have you. Bring all your friends. We have a great time. And the food is good. All right. So there's that one. We're going to put that on a card. No matter the weather, we can get through this together. That's a great sentiment. Now, I don't know um, if you guys know. I mean, I'm sure you do. Right? So let's just talk a minute about um, being a demonstrator with Stampin' Up. You know... Look at how cute that card is. It is 97% 97% about the relationships and about that would leave 3% left, right? I'm bad at math. 3% about stamping, right? It's all about it's all about the people. Don't you just don't you just love our stamping people? I mean, you guys are online and I just love hanging out with you. And how much better is it when you're actually in person? Right? So if you have, if you're in the area, want to come hang out with me, I have card classes. I do all the things. I have other teammates that do card classes. If you can't make one of mine, we'll find a card class. We'll find your people. Trust me. We will find you some people to hang out with. And if not, you can just hang out with me online because I love that too. So this one is going to have a bunny. 
Did you know I have bunnies in my backyard? I do. I have bunnies in my backyard. There's a little heart that goes like that. I think this is all one piece. I didn't think it was, but I think it is now. And then this piece goes right here. So, um, yeah, I have bunnies in my backyard. I thought maybe I would make them go away because I got rid of my shed and they were living under the shed. I think they just moved. I don't know where they moved to. But uh, they're there. They live back there with the goldfish. I have goldfish in my backyard too. And um, they are living their best life because I have been treating them very well lately. I didn't always. But this year, I have been feeding them every day and actually taking care of the darn little fish. You know, when I bought them, they're 13 cent goldfish. They're about that big. You know, they're just feeder fish. You get them at wherever, PetSmart, wherever you can find fish. And um, um, so now most of them are about that big. But I have one. He's been there a few years. He's a good seven, eight inches long. I'm like, I'm going to call you Koi because you are no longer just a 13 cent feeder fish. We'll call him a Koi. He's not really a Koi. He's still a 13 cent goldfish, but... They come outside as soon as I open up the back door. They come running. Not really, because they're fish. But they, they come swimming over to the edge like I can hear them splashing, waiting for me to feed them. I'm like, you guys are greedy. You're getting greedy now, because you know I'm coming. All right, so this one says, live, love, grow. I'm going to stamp him in... I think I'm going to stamp him in Calypso Coral. What do you think? Is that dark enough? Let's see. We'll find out. Let love grow. That's what it says. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Let love grow. Yeah. I have cool fish. Okay, so let's see. I think this one has a bow just like tied underneath it. So we'll try that. I'm going to put, I'm going to do it again, two, two layers. So just double my, double my twine over and tie a bow. Now, do you know, guys know how to tie a bow? I'll show you Sandra's way to tie a bow. So you get your two fingers right here. You loop it over just those two fingers. You make two loops. You have to practice this and then tie those two loops together. That's all there is to it. Okay. That's all. Look, perfect bow every time. Perfect. I'm gonna show you with a. I'm gonna show you with a, a string so we can see it or a, a a ribbon. Okay. You ready? Two loops over your fingers, rabbit ears, call them whatever you want, and then tie those two loops in a knot. Now you can do this with as many layers as you want, but you get a perfect bow every time. See, look, we'll do it with two. I have two layers. We're going to tie, we're going to make two little bunny ears. And we're just going to tie those two loops together. It is super easy, super simple, but it's perfect every time. Okay? So it doesn't have to be hard tying bows. Don't try it, tie it like you're tying your shoe. It They don't come out as pretty. They don't come out as nice. I mean, if that's the way you know how to do it, eh, I'm not telling you to stop, but that's easier. After you get the hang of it, it takes a minute to get the hang of it, but it's, we can do it. Okay. So let love grow. This little guy right here, now I'm going to use a glue dot. I'm not going to use one of their supplied glue dots. We're going to use one of these. And we're going to stick it on. And then I'll put my bow just like that. I'll trim the ends in a minute. And put this just like that. And then trim the ends of my bow off. I don't know what I've done with my paper snips. <laughs> if you could see my, you can see part of my desk. My whole desk looks just like what you see. 
So you can imagine where my paper snips are. Lost in the oblivion. Okay, let's get some more of these little guys on here. Because they're cute. We'll just use their circle ones, and then there's ones that look like raindrops. So we'll put some circle ones on here. Just wherever. I'm supposed to put odd numbers. I don't know why. Somebody once, somebody smarter than me said that once. So we're going to put some raindrops on this one. I have to make sure that the raindrops go like they're dropping. Because otherwise, I don't know. They would look like, I don't know. You can't see these raindrops very much, but once you can, once you see them, they're super cute. Okay, one more raindrop, and then we're done. Okay, so here we go. Here's the three cards that this kit makes. And then I'll see how many it makes all together. So look at how adorable these are. Super easy. Everything's all done for you. You don't have to think. It's one of those, I want to make some cards. I want to be crafty, but I don't want to have to think. I don't want to have to create. Every, Stampin' Up! has done it all for you. Let's see. Um, four, five, six, it makes nine cards, this kit right here. And then when you're done, you still have the stamp set left over so you can make more fun things for sure with the stamp set. So there you go. So don't forget, if you'd like to join my team, I urge you to do it before the end of May. Um, just let me know. Send me a message. Call me. Text me. Whatever. And um, we'll see if we can get you on my team and then what else do we have going on? The kit sale, that starts Tuesday. And if you're a demonstrator starting Tuesday, you can pre-order from the new mini catalog. Oh, and what else? The, the um, last chance items from the old mini catalog, the, Ju the July, January, it's January. January to June mini catalog. Where is it? This one, the one with all the tulips and stuff. There's the last chance for this will be um, in June. So there'll be some things that are on sale. And um, this is done 30 June. Did you know right here on the back of your catalog, it tells you the effective date. So this one is 4 January through 30 June. So this catalog will go away 30 June. So, but we have so much new fun stuff. So much new fun stuff so thanks so much for hanging out with me again here's my here's the cards the kit together so thanks for hanging out with me and um next week I will be in Utah so I won't see you um but I'll be back the week after okay thanks for hanging out with me